Welcome back. Today I have for you a fun and exciting review, as the title says, on the new Naked Smoky Palette. Ah! How exciting is this new release, guys? When I very first saw some pictures on Instagram, I was going crazy and I just wanted it right away. Then I realized that it's due July 8th, so then I was like, whoa. Do I really have to wait that long? But Urban Decay was kind enough to send this to me and words can express how excited I am to have this in my hands. So thank you so much Urban Decay. This is not a sponsored video. These did not send it to me for review or anything like that. I just truly love Urban Decay and I wanted to review it for you guys. I've already done a review on the Naked 3 so I'm excited to review this one for you guys. But long story short, I got this on Snapchat if you guys wanted to see a review, tutorial, or maybe both. And many of you guys said both, so that's what I'm doing. I'm going to be filming some tutorials and my pros and cons on the Naked Smoky Palette. Alright, so like I've mentioned earlier, I've already reviewed the Naked 3 palette, which I'll link down below for you guys. This is the only palette that I have from Naked, aside from the Naked Smoky on right now which excitement is not even the word. But I have some single eyeshadows from Urban Decay, which equal the same thing as having the Naked 1 and Naked 2. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Now, I'm going to have to admit it, but this one has to be my ultimate favorite thus far. This one was my favorite, I'm not going to lie, just because I love rose gold and gold overall and warm tone shadows. So when I very first saw this, I thought I was not going to like it just because this is a really cool tone palette. But to me, this one is definitely the most complete palette out of all four. And what I love the most about it is the fact that these four shadows here are matte and then the rest of the shadows have like a hint of sheen to it. And then these two right here are like shimmery. Not glittery, but just shimmery, which I love. Now color range, I really love how it's divided. These three right here are very neutrals. Then it goes into smoky. Then it goes into cool tones and warm tones. So I just feel like it's well distributed and it's a great color range. Quality is always with the Urban Decay, it's just always a given. These are super pigmented, super smooth, and very long lasting. But I feel like these shadows are just so much better. They have no fallout, which I love. Except for maybe high and armor, which have a little bit of fallout since they are glittery, but overall, amazing, amazing shadows. Packaging, may I just say, perfection. I honestly feel this one is the best one out of all of them. It's just so much chicer and nicer and great quality. I love the texture, the feel, and the color as well. This one is a plastic material, but it's very sturdy, and I also love how it opens and closes. This one has a magnet, which makes it really easy to open, but it's also really sturdy, so it's not going to open by itself if you throw it in your bag or anything like that. I love the fact that it's see-through and just the color, every <laughs> Compared to this one, this one is more rounder in the edges, this one is more rectangular. And also, one of the cons with the Naked 3, in my opinion, was the fact that it was so hard to open and close, you know, like that. And then this one is just so much easier. I love it. Another pro is definitely the brush. Even though I don't like dual in the brushes, I feel like this one is very convenient. It has a crease brush, and it has a smudger brush, and it's super smooth and easy to work with. Oh, and I didn't even mention, which I, I shouldn't because they always have amazing mirrors but I love the mirror that comes with it. Now cons, I only have two, and number one has to be the price. This is a little bit pricey, like every Naked palette is $54, but I feel like it's totally worth it. It's great quality, super long lasting, this is going to last a long time, and it's also great to travel, so it's like pros and cons together. Would you look at that? Also, this is a really cool tone palette, so if you don't like cool tone shades, maybe this is not for you, but I still think it has a great range of colors to choose from because you still have some warm tones right here and also a brown shade right there. So it's still pretty great range of colors, but it has a lot of cool tones.
Also, for those wondering, everything on my eyes is from the Naked Smoky palette. On my lid, I have Dirty Sweets, which is a gorgeous gold color. On my crease, I have Whiskey for my transition. I have Radar, Inner Corner, and Bravo, and it's high, which is a beautiful champagne color. And for my lower lash line, it's Whiskey. So that was all, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you have any of the Naked palettes and which one is your favorite. And also, if you want to see some tutorials using the Naked Smoky palette, subscribe if you haven't else already, and see you next time. Bye! Let's, let's start recording. I don't think this is on focus though, but we're gonna go with it, right? Pros and cons of the Naked 3 palette, 4 palette. You know, many people are like, oh my god, Natalie, you're normal? And I'm like, no. <laughs> no? Yeah? Dude, so my neighbors are making a lot of noise, and I don't know if I should go upstairs, curse them out, and then come back to film, or just film and curse them out later you know I really love this lipstick but I feel like a fruity pebble you know lavender lipstick baby blue pink nails it just doesn't get better than this I'm going upstairs I'm going upstairs but an ice cream truck we we needed something else you know so the ice cream truck was like you know Natalie we're not done yet convenience for those <laughs> I thought I put my nail in it and that would have been the end of the world and this one Jesus Christ <laughs>